three, two. Hey, hey guys, guys, it's James and Yasmin, and this is the long-awaited video of how we met. So many of you have been asking, like in all our Q and A's, the question is always, "How did you guys meet?" And here we are, finally explaining to you guys. How, how should we start this? I Maybe feel like we should start it in Brisbane, Australia. Yes. I feel like, I mean, I'm from Canberra, but I did a dance competition in Brisbane. Uh, which essentially led me over to Dresden, Germany. I got into a professional school over there, which, of course, that's where I met Yasmin. That's the school that she went to. And don't worry, we will do another separate video of our dance journeys and go more... In depth in that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, basically, I get into this school. I'm dancing there for six months. We didn't even know each other. No. Like, we didn't even cross paths. We were in two separate classes. Exactly. I was the bachelor year below. She was the bachelor year above. Uh, so I was in first year, she was in second year, and then there was still the third year. And yeah, kind of six months went by, didn't even know each other. We probably walked past each other, but we never really interacted. We never talked. And because it was during COVID, no classes interacted with each other. Because so usually in our university, all the classes have projects together and stuff. Yep. But due to COVID, no class really saw a different class because yep. they tried to keep everyone separate. So yeah, six months went by and we never really saw each other. And then actually, I remember it was me and my mom, we were sitting in the park in Dresden um, and I got a call from my uh, teacher and she was like, hey, uh, I want to do a photo shoot with someone. Um, and I thought you would be great. And this guy, James from Bachelor One, I was like, okay, yeah, like, why not? So <laughs> I did it. It was to promote something, a project. Uh, it was really cool. My mom actually took the photos because she's a photographer. So that's when we met first. For the first time, yeah, exactly. So obviously on my side, I got the same sort of call. You know, there's this going to be this photo shoot, this duo, this part of her with this girl by the name of Yasmin. I'm like, don't know who that is. Um, but see, this is the thing, like to be really truthful, like we kind of did know of each, each other. other. Yeah. We just had never seen each other in like real life because to be honest, Yasmin was already doing social media back then. So I'd already had a little bit of a stalk. She'd had a... Like, every time a new person comes to the school, everyone looks at each other's Instagram. I mean, that's not a... You know, that's yeah, just the truth. Just so I didn't know about his Instagram. He knew about my Instagram, but we never interacted. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then, so anyway, I walk in the studio. Yasmin's already there, going through her plie, he's going through a warm-up. Super classical. I walk no, in... No! Yeah, you were true. doing something. No, you were I was at the bar. on the ground! No, you were at the bar. No, yeah, I was on the bar on the ground. No, I was sitting. Oh, yeah, and you stood up straight ground, away, yeah, though. And I was so nervous. <laughs> this is weird, because I still got, get nervous when, you know, you work with someone you never met the person. Yeah. I was sitting on the floor, Ooh. on the bar. Yeah, I was sitting Okay, on the so, ground. all right, so you must have been <laughs> sitting on the floor, and then you literally, like, I as I walked in, yeah. stood up, and then were like, yeah. oh, <laughs> hold the bar, like, oh, hi. Um, and I walked in. What, what was I like when I walked in? I think you were really like, I think you made it easy because obviously like you're Australian, you're easy with like, hey, how are you? How's it going? Me as a German and like I knew he was not German. It was a bit scary for me. I was like, oh my God, I have to speak English and oh, I've never met him before. Which her English is insane as you can all tell. <laughs> um, so yeah. yeah, you walked in, you were really nice. Like I remember you were so nice. You asked me questions. Like we just... There was an immediate there connection. There was an immediate connection. Yeah, like it didn't sure. feel awkward at all. Um... So then obviously the choreographers got there. We started working on the part de deux. And then yeah. I feel like that's when we really started to feel like we had a good chemistry. Yeah. We were kind of like laughing at each other's jokes kind and of. And obviously a part de deux is really intimate. Yeah. You know, like you work together as a team. So that kind of, you know, got some sparks going. Yeah, got some sparks going. And uh, anyway, then we went, we did the shoot, we did all that. Um... I what remember, yeah. I remember my mom. So we did a photo shoot and a video shoot. Sorry, I think I didn't say video shoot. And I remember my mom after fo after the photo, she was like, oh my God, that boy is so cute. Like, <laughs> she's like, that boy is so cute. Do you like him? And I'm like, oh. Obviously, I knew I already liked him a lot because we've had a million rehearsals already. Yeah. And, you know, it kind of, you know, something was something there. Was going on. Uh, but my mom definitely already saw it. <laughs> before yeah. I even knew it. So then, for me, one of my fondest memories of when we first started, well, not dating, but about. meeting, uh, we were at a rehearsal, and we actually had a rehearsal outside one day because it was super hot, it was summer, 
and Yasmin and I got a break and we walked across the road and we got like a lemonade yeah. or something like it that. It was a raspberry lemonade. Yeah, raspberry or raspberry. raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> so this was the first time that we kind of had a in-depth conversation. Like everything was pretty surface level and we sort of walked across the road and, you know, we were just sort of talking about like what our dreams are, what our aspirations are. And this was sort of, I feel like, a period in your life where you, you, well, do you want to more speak from well, where you I were? I think um, I had a bit of a hard time and I loved social media. Like, I loved posting, I loved doing all that stuff, but I didn't really get much accepted by the people around me and the school and all that stuff. So I was kind of doubting myself doing social media. I was also doubting myself doing ballet. Like, I was just having a really rough time figuring out, like, what do I want in life? And I just feel like you were the first person ever that I talked about, like, my actual dreams with. And I felt like, oh, my God, oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you right? I love you. I love you. Sorry. <laughs> Come here. You know, I think... This was one of those moments, of course we do this on camera. It seems so performative, but trust me, it's it's not. You can see it's really real between the two of us. And, um, you know, that was like the moment where, you know, I remember Yasmin was like, oh, you know, I do TikTok, but then I kind of stopped or I, you know, because she was known at the school as like the TikTok girl. And you got to understand, like, in the professional ballet world, they are quite, let's just say, um... They're very proud of their art form and they're very niche about it. And I'm not saying this goes for everyone, no. but they're very old school. I mean, we're still doing Swan Lake. We're still doing Giselle. We're still kind of stuck a little bit back in the future. And the whole idea of someone like pushing the boundaries. And I mean, Yasmin was posting lots of ballet content. I was back posting then. only ballet content. Yeah. And the then. ballet content was getting millions and millions of views to like popular new songs. And, you know, the whole school had issues with that. Do you know what I mean? How dare you, you know, earn money and do brand deals and, 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 and sell then, I think, out. I think back then I didn't even have paid brand deals. They were more it just was, gifted. It was but just gifted things. Yeah. And it was also just the kids in school. Like I would walk past someone and everyone would just be like, TikTok girl. Yeah, and like and that was literally my name from everyone. And I just, I felt horrible. Like yeah. genuinely. like. And I feel like I, not... I, you know, that was when we had that conversation. I was just like, who cares? Like, stuff them. Like, at the end of the day, it's your life. You can create your own pathway. We can do whatever we want. And and we can do it in an unconventional way. And I think I already started to speak with a little bit of a we. Yeah. And I feel like this is when we both sort of started to light up and we started to realise, like, we could be a team. Yeah, and also just hearing from you, like, James has been passionate about filming and doing videos since you're, like... How old? Eight? Yeah, forever. Like, I, since you had a phone. Like, yeah, since you had a camera. Yeah, I've always had a like, camcorder, always, you, you know, know. You always wanted to film dance videos, even if you scroll down on James's Instagram feed. Like, there's stuff of him when he's really, really young. And the fact that we both had the same passion yeah. just felt so amazing. I just know that was the best chat I've ever had in my life. And that's like, the thing, so like, good. Yasmin and I, we're so obsessed with creating. Whether that be writing, writing music. Uh, Yasmin has a big passion for singing. I can't sing, but I love to write. You know, we, we love to create short films. We want to make movies one day. We want to do podcasts. We want to create clothing. We want to create apparel. We just feel like we are really creative people and we need that creative outlet. And the problem is with the... We love classical and we love ballet, but the problem is with the, that specific ballet world is it's very like, this is what you do and you can't do anything yeah. else. I think what also another thing is, so we had, we both had like the same best friend, yeah, which true. we didn't really know we had the same yeah. best friend. Like we both had the same best friend. Um, shout out to Rowan. Love you. And, um, and I think it was like, because of the fact that we were best friends, like the class started, we all did stuff together in summer because it was summer holidays. So we did a lot of things together. I kind of joined your class a little bit with a lot of things. It was Rowan's birthday. Then it was your birthday yeah. as well. That's where it also kind of, you know, we started like, you know, being more of like, it's James and Yasmin. Like we were like yeah, a yeah. thing, yeah. you know? And then actually I went on holidays. Do you remember? Yeah, that's true. I went on holidays with my uh, mom and my family. I want to say about this because, so Yasmin went on holidays just as like our relationship was sort of like taking Starting. off. And one thing that I hate is texting, especially when it comes to 
developing feelings or developing a friendship with someone. So the reason why I personally hate texting is because I feel like you can develop that perfect personality over text that isn't real. Kind of fake, so yeah. so when Yasmin went on this holiday, I was like, I mean, she was texting me like every day, but I was like, oh, like I don't <laughs> want to like really feed into this yeah. because I don't want to be like this even funnier than I am in real life guy or more perfect than I really am. Yeah. Or, you know, I just, I, there's something about that that yeah. just weirds me out. I don't like the idea of, and I get everyone's different, but I don't like the idea of developing a relationship through text. completely through, online. Yeah, exactly. I understand people meet online, but I feel like the real stuff has to happen in real life. And, and I think then uh, on that trip, like I just sent some photos of like my vacation and stuff. You sent photos of what you've been up to. We just kind of updated ourselves. I remember you asking like, what are your favorite movies? I completely lied and told him I like documentaries, which I told now her, is yeah, awful. It's a, since then, every time we start a movie, stuff, do you want to watch a documentary? I'm like, oh, it's like this running this joke. That, it's this running joke that we have because I'm obsessed with documentaries. And I remember, this is again, it proves my point. I literally texted her, like, on this like, trip. I love documentaries. And I was How like, about you? And, and I, I was like, yeah. Yeah, love documentaries Yeah, too. and now, totally and lying. now, like, literally, I mean, weeks after dating, yeah. I figured out she hates documentaries. <laughs> I don't um, hate them. They're just not that entertaining. But actually, we're now watching a documentary and I love it. So Yeah, that's um, true. Exactly. Um, so anyway, Whatever. getting off that. That's just the point of, like, when you text, sometimes you say things that are not quite, you know, real. It's not actually you thank god it was just a one week holiday and i think i'm pretty sure i told you that my favorite food is sushi like yes. you know when you ask like what do you like to eat so like, this food, was again where and i kind of think it's a little bit pathetic of me i asked yasmin out on the first date on over text, text because yeah, that's she was gone yeah. she brought up i think she brought up like you brought up uh that you like sushi, sushi. and then i was like oh cool that's where we can go on our first date when you get back and we locked in a day i mean also to be fair because i was gone for a week you kind of have to ask yeah true on text again so uh, anyway when are we meet? Yeah. anyway that was the next time we met we went out on this date now this was like when we knew this was the 17th of august 2020 am yes. i a psychopath yes i am <laughs> <laughs> we were at this sushi restaurant, I want to say, for over three hours. Four hours, I would even say. We didn't stop talking. There was no awkward moments. There was no awkward silence. There was no it, weather talk or anything. Like, it was a deep it just chat. It just flowed, you yeah. know? Like, all about her family, all about my family, what she's been through, what I've been through, what we've done, where we've been. It just flowed, and it was one of the most... It's still to this day, is like one of the best nights of my life and I think just for everyone out there for people that are you know looking for love or don't know you know if this person's the right person for them you know you want it to feel natural you want it to feel like this person is your best friend you know there's attraction is one thing and don't get me wrong I think she's absolutely gorgeous and I you know absolutely love the way she looks and you know that is going to always be one of the first things that catches your eyes but there, there's a lot more to that yeah. you need to connect on so many different levels for a relationship to work i mean we run and a we business now together we couldn't do that if we weren't super real yeah. with each other exactly you have to be so honest with each other especially with the job that we're doing it can get really hard you know he has his ideas i have my ideas well this is a completely different thing we should talk about that in a different youtube video like how we'll we manage our it. business we're saving that but yeah, so we went to that sushi restaurant, literally the best restaurant ever. I was still vegan back then. You were then. vegan back yeah. then. Which with sushi is actually so easy to eat vegan. Do you know what sushi means yeah, in Japanese? Fish. Yeah, I know. It yeah, means exactly. <laughs> well, uh, what I actually wanted to actually touch on that. I personally, prior to meeting Yasmin, was quite ignorant, to be really honest, to the idea of veganism. Right. To be fair, I had tried being, I was fully plant-based for like six months at one point. So I was somewhat open to like, there are other options, there are healthier alternatives, there are better um, ways for, the more sustainable ways for our environment, for our earth, things that we can do better. But the problem I had with being vegan, I just found it really impractical. Yeah. And when I first met Yasmin, it was like, check, 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 check. Oh, she's vegan, <laughs> right? But I didn't care because I was like, you know what? 
I have my flaws. I not that it's a flaw, but I have things that probably are not going to be perfect to you. And, and also, I was vegan, but to be fair, like I was struggling a bit to be vegan already yep. at that point. Like I've been vegan probably for half a year by that point, and um, I already lived on my own, so that was also really difficult to be disciplined. Um, obviously I figured out veganism wasn't quite for me or isn't quite for me at the moment. Yep. It's just, it's really expensive. Uh, we didn't have the time to like be vegan. Like prepare. you have to research a lot. You have to know exactly what you need and what your body is, body is missing. Um, and all these things I just didn't have the time and energy for. I was also just not being quite happy with what I was eating. I think and one thing also that I really wanted to be for Yasmin is I really wanted to support her with whatever decision she made. So I never, you know, said don't be vegan. God, no. Although I did offer like other alternatives. Like, yeah. like I, I said, I was like, babe, like at the end of the day, it's your life. It's your choice. Do what feels right for you. Yeah. Okay. Do... You know, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. It's just a title. You know, you could be vegan four days a week and then the other... You know That's what I exactly mean? Like, right. like, even right now, I don't call myself anything. Because even sometimes now, like, sometimes I eat fish. But only if it's, like, good fish. And, caught by um, me. Exactly. Haven't had a fish from him yet because he hadn't caught one yet. I'll get it one day. Um, I don't eat meat. Uh, but besides that, like, I don't call myself anything. I just eat what I want to eat and what I feel like exactly. you know uh, and same with you like there's there's weeks where James almost eats vegetarian every day yeah. you know and it's just whatever but that's a whole different topic that's another video that we'll give um, you guys <laughs> but our eating and food and stuff yeah so we had that sushi date which was absolutely amazing so then we went on a couple dates together and you know a lot of people were like did you kiss did you kiss have you this have you that we weren't really the like touchy feely that type of couple at all. I think we we're both just like just really respectful talking, of each talking. other and just like so intellectually. Also, you know, I think we both are the type of people. People we really want to know the person first. Like, is this really something we want to make? You know, work. Is this for real or is this just you know? Are there too many red flags or things that don't work for yourself? And I think by going on many dates and talking a lot and just talking, 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 we, we knew. knew everything about each other. Exactly. Like, literally. Like, I, I even remember there was one one day where we were just walking together. We did a lot of walks. We loved yep. walks. And James went, could you imagine yourself living in Australia one day? And I went, hell yes! And that is exactly what I wanted, you know? I've always wanted to raise a family in Australia. I've always wanted to live my life in Australia. Don't get me wrong, I loved living in Europe. And I mean, it was a dream of yours. Exactly, I was just gonna say like, always, since I'm a little kid, I always was like, oh, I wanna move I wanna move abroad one day, you know, maybe to the US yep. or I don't know. And now I'm here in Australia it's crazy. and I absolutely love it. Um, but that's a whole nother story. So let's go back to summer in 2020. And then we went back to school. Yep. And I think after a month of going back to school, so kind of two and a half months of us, of us dating, we decided, hey, I think it's time for our first video together exactly you know? so obviously we already touched on the fact that we both had the passion of videos social media all that stuff but we didn't want to force anything in the beginning of our relationship so yeah first video posted and, and it got 2.1 million views on which Instagram. is like that was mind-blowing because back then i had like 17 or 13 13k and 10k yep so 2.1 even now i mean 2.1 million people saw that video it blew us away and yep. we were like oh my god it's a sign we're well, like it's a sign it's a we've sign. got to do more of yeah. these um actually here's the video that we posted <laughs> and that's enough of that, that. should be it um <laughs> um yeah, so actually then later on, uh, we decided... So I had my own apartment already, and you had your own apartment. Like, mm -hmm. you lived in a student home, which was kind of small and all yep. that. And we decided, hey, just move in with me, you know? I was already spending so much time at Yasmin's. Like, I was there all the time. I'm like, why would I pay rent at exactly. this place if we can just move in together? And share it. So he moved in, and literally a week after, or four days after you moved in... Lockdown. Boom. Lockdown. <laughs> so this is kind of how we want to wrap the video in the sense that you look at most couples, right? And they have their full-time jobs. They see each other after work. They see each other on the weekend. They have a date every now and then. our first lockdown was like two to three months. Yes. Yeah. 
two to three months. <laughs> two to three months in a one-room one... apartment where literally it's the bed, the kitchen. Let's just say we really got to know each other. Yes, 100%. We got so close. We really got to know each other. We saw all the good and bad things about each other. Yep. And we're still so in love. And also, I think another thing is like, we had no dates. We couldn't no. go to the movies. We couldn't go eat out for dinner. No. Like, we literally didn't go out for dinner for, like, a whole year. Because even the second the lockdown got released, you still couldn't go to restaurants. They were still exactly. all closed. So we never really had that, like, date dating time, phase. you know, where you get nice and then you just talk about all the good things. Like, we really got to know each other immediately, which I think was the best thing that could ever happen 100%. to us. 100%. And that's the thing. That would have... If there was ever a time to realize, oh... Uh, I don't know if we're meant for each other. It was that, that time then. And, you know, it's little things. It's the going shopping together. And when I say shopping, I mean, like, getting groceries, budgeting, uh, you know, working on projects exactly. together. Yeah, everything. Like, any little thing that you then notice. You know, these things you usually don't notice when you go on a date. They exactly. come out, you know. Cleaning, making our bed. Leaving doing... the towel on the ground after showering. Clearly, Still doesn't do it. Oh, come on, I'm better. <laughs> Um, well, also, another thing is we really got into social media because we had so much time on our hands. We yeah. were in our apartment and we started posting more and more and more and more and we really built a community. Um, which is you yeah, guys. Which is you guys. And we're so, so thankful. Obviously, we're going to go in depth into all these other things like why did we actually leave school? Uh, why did we leave Germany? Why did we leave the that? ballet world exactly. specifically? Um, um, but I think that's basically it so guys we hope we answered your question of how we met we know this video is really drawn out and as yasmin said there's still a lot more topics that we want to go more in depth on Definitely. but for the time being subscribe and stay tuned